Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of some Building Big with Germ. I am here in the church that we worked on in the last episode. I'm just working on finishing up the ceiling and some parts that I missed in the last episode because I think I ran out of materials or ran out of time or something. Uh, but the ceiling is looking good now. Got the floor all the way finished. Don't have the walls all the way done yet. Still need to do a little bit of texturing on this wall back here and uh, fixing up this wall right here. But... I think this place is looking real nice, really, really nice. I'm very happy with it. But in today's episode, we are gonna take a little bit of a break from this area, I think, because I have been doing some netherite mining off camera. I've gone, well, I've been streaming it. I've been doing a little bit of streaming and I did a little bit of netherite mining uh, in the stream and I got enough for a full block of netherite. So if you don't know, even though uh, this is a whole new world, or this is a whole new area, and this is a new season. We are still in the same world that we were in season one. So, I decided the way I'm going to unlock those old areas is uh, by crafting a netherite block. A netherite block for each kingdom. So, I got my netherite block, and today we are going to head back to the diorite castle. I don't know what I'm going to do with this netherite block. I'm sure I'll eventually use it for something. Uh, just because I crafted it for the kingdom, I don't think that should mean I should just not be able to use it for crafting anything else. Uh, but I'm just going to hold on to it for now, and we are going to head off to the nether and try to make our way back to the kingdom. By the way, I've been working on my better animals pack, my custom mobs pack, and I've made these new models for chickens and uh, reworked some of the textures that we had to, let, to make them work with the models a little bit better. And I think they're looking so, so good. I really like them. I will say this model is very inspired by someone I saw on Twitter. Uh, his name, his Twitter name is Raw Salmon. His at is Islington Raw. I'll be sure to link it in the description below. But uh, yeah, that's very inspired by his chicken that he made. But I think it's looking so good. I love it. But all right, let's go ahead and we are going to head into the nether and try to find our way back to the Diorite Castle area. So I think I know the general direction I should be going, but I don't know any specific coordinates. Uh, so we're just going to be kind of winging this. But let's just hope, let's just hope we don't run into any trouble. Oh god, okay. Alright, I ended up going back to the overworld to get a saddle and uh, this, a fishing rod. Oh wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, there we go. Um, and I'm going to try to get a strider because I think that would be the fastest way to get there. Because there is a huge lava lake over there. But the problem is actually getting a strider <laughs> uh, because they are way out there. This guy was like right here a minute ago, but he walked out there pretty quick. I could try to bridge out to him. Oh, he's walking away even more. Okay. Um, do I have any more arrows? I don't. Okay. This is going to be dangerous, but we got to, we got to kill these guys. You know what? I'm going to wear this because I don't want any more piglins messing with me. Let's see if we can get this guy really quick. Go on. Okay. Easy. Easy. All right. Now let's see. Hopefully a gas doesn't spawn. Let's see if we can get out to this guy. All right. Where are you at? Come on. Come on. Come here. No. Come here. Uh, will they be attracted if I hold this? Nope. Okay. Come here. Gotta hurry up. Please don't let a gas spawn right now. Please. Stop walking away. Please stop walking away. Please stop walking away. Why are you still walking away? <laughs> what is going on? Are they afraid of... Oh, hello. Okay. I'm on him. All right, let's go. Here we go. The, this boat has legs. Nice. Oh, man, they run so much faster than I remember. Okay. Hopefully, we can get there pretty quick. Ooh. I don't think I've seen this texture out naturally in the world yet. I made a uh, custom texture for the baby. Looks pretty cool. Uh, but let's see if we can find this place now. All right, I wonder, can they? Oh God, nope, 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 nope. Bad idea. Okay, bad idea. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he would stay above the lava the whole time, uh, but obviously not. Okay, now it's suffocating. All right. I don't think, I think I'm just gonna have to ditch this guy now because we are at uh, a spot that he cannot traverse, so. Let's see, let's see if we can get the rest of the way there through here. Oh, okay. I know where we're at now. 
All right, we are pretty much there. Nice. I was a little, I was getting a little bit worried. I was starting to think maybe I didn't know where I was. Uh, but yeah, this is where we need to be. This is the first village I built in the nether and probably the last. Uh, but if we come up here, ow, uh, let's put a little thing there. And you know what? Oh God, come here, come here. We're gonna bring this guy up here. Why are they breaking down the door? Just when do they do that? That's really weird. Oh God, uh-oh. All right, there we go. Got this guy taken care of. Now let's get our strider in here. Uh, just so we can save this guy for later. Nope, 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 nope. You go over here. Nope, nope. There we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and head back to the Diorite Castle. All right. Okay, this place is not safe. I really, really should get some better gold armor so it doesn't just break every time I wear something. Um, let's set our uh, respawn point there. And let's check this place out before I go in there. I want to see what I have here. Ooh, a lot of diamond armor. Interesting. Okay. Oh, nice. Got some music discs. You know what? I'm going to take that. All right, let's head in. Let's head into the overworld. All right. Just came through the nether portal. We're walking up on the area now. It's been, it's been quite a while since I've been here. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get back here and start doing some stuff again. Uh, I want to do... I forgot about that. I want to do a bridge there, maybe. Um, it might be a little... You know what? Maybe we should do that. I think that would be pretty cool to do. It's good to be back. There are some things... You know, there are some things I want to change about this place, kind of. I know for one of the last episodes of the last seasons, we decided we were kind of finished with this area. But there are some things I still would like to change about it. Like this gatehouse, I don't love... I don't love how this gatehouse is... Uh, so we may end up changing that. And we also need to do a bunch of interiors, obviously. I think these two right here are the only ones that have proper interiors. This one is completely finished, and this one is as well. But yeah, I'm excited to be back here in this area again. Uh, I think we're going to be doing some work here today. I think maybe, maybe we'll work on this gatehouse. So that could be a fun, a fun thing to work on and try to get finished. Uh, but... I do want to say really quick, we're not just going to abandon that Austrian area. Um, I think what I'm going to do, we're going to be working on this area as kind of a side project to that area. And then I think once we start getting snapshots for the Caves and Cliffs update, as long as it's this year, then we'll start focusing more on that area once we can move it into a better area, like we talked about a couple episodes ago. So yeah, for now, we'll just be coming back and forth from there to here and uh, working on random things here and there. And I think today, what we're gonna be working on is this gatehouse. Like I mentioned just a few minutes ago, I don't really love how this gatehouse looks. So I would like to redo it and make it look a little bit nicer. And I think it would be cool to incorporate this, this block into the design somehow. Since we had to create it to get back here, I think it could be cool to incorporate this into the design of the gatehouse. Because I'm not really too concerned about having all this netherite I mean, at some point, we'll probably end up getting all our stuff back from the last season anyways. So it's really not that big of a deal that I have this right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to work out a design for this and then gather up some materials. And we'll be back once we start working on this. All right, we are back and look at this. I have completely torn out this old gatehouse here, part of that building there and the building that was sitting right here. And it's looking really strange right now. If we come out here and take a look at it, it's even weirder. 
Uh, it kind of it looks kind of cool. I gotta be honest. Uh, it kind of makes me want to just put a tower right there, put a tower right there, and then leave this open. Uh, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be building a giant new gatehouse here today. But really quick, I wanted to mention that Skynode, the company that's providing my supporter server, is offering 25% off any server permanently if you use the code JERMZYBOY when you purchase one of their servers. Links in the description to all that, of course, and also links in the description to the supporter server I mentioned if you want to join that. Just gotta be a $5 YouTube member, $5 patron, or any level Twitch sub. But let's go ahead and jump back into this. So this new gatehouse is gonna be pretty inspired by the gatehouse I have up here. Yeah, this right here, I guess it's not really a gatehouse, but the entrance to the keep we have here. So it's gonna be pretty inspired by this. There are gonna be some differences and there's gonna be a bigger building behind it, but let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump straight into a time lapse of me working out this and we'll be back once it is complete. All right, we're back and there it is. It is completely finished now and I think it's looking very nice. I'm, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. And I even went ahead and got the inside all completed here. I think I do still need to do some texturing on the walls, but besides that, uh, I think it's pretty good. I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. I think in a minute, we are gonna work on a little bit of the interior here. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a lot of this off camera because it's kind of a mess in here right now, but I would like to work out the room where this gate is like raised and lowered. Uh, so we're going to do that in just a minute. But before we do that, I want to come back out front and let's go ahead and ender pearl up here because we have to put this netherite block right there, right there, right in the middle of the, of the, uh, of this little section of the build right here. And it does stand out a little bit, but I think that's okay. I think it's still pretty cool looking. I like it. We'll have to figure out a way to incorporate netherite blocks into every other kingdom we have. Um, I don't know. I mean, it'll probably be pretty easy at the other castle, but uh, the other ones it might be pretty dif difficult to do, but we'll figure out something for them. But let's go ahead now. I'm going to grab some materials real quick, and we're going to go up there and start working on the mechanism for the door uh, right now. All right, let's get in here and get to work on this interior. But actually, before we do, let's go ahead and do this. I have made this, I've changed the soul campfire texture to uh, dark oak logs instead of, I think before in my pack it was bone, uh, but then in vanilla it's just, it's just the same as regular, the regular kind, it's just regular oak. So I decided to switch it to dark oak and I think it's pretty cool looking, I like it. I think I'm going to be using it quite a bit. Uh, it's just a nice little variation from the regular campfires and yeah, looks pretty cool. I like it. Not a huge change, but... It's just something a little bit different. But let's go ahead and come up in here. I've gone ahead and built out the walls for the most part. Still need to finish up this side over here. Uh, and let's go ahead and get to work on this. So we're gonna start off by building a little bit of a frame right here. We're gonna go up one, two, three, and then we'll have a sideways one going that way. And we're gonna strip all that, of course. Then we'll do the same on this side. And something we're gonna be using a lot in this build is barrels. So we're gonna go over one log, strip it, of course. Then we're gonna do a barrel there. Uh, strip log there, barrel there, strip log there, barrel there, and then one more strip lo stripped log on the end there. And you know what, before we go any further, we should fill this all the way up to here. There we go, and then we're gonna do chains. We're gonna do them right below each of these uh, barrels here. 
And then I want to do trap doors all along this block. Whoops, not like that. I'm going to do them all along this block here, and then we're going to close them eventually. But for now, we're just going to place them here. Jeez, I feel like I made that way more difficult <laughs> to place than it should have been. But uh, we're just going to have the trap doors along like that for now. And then we're going to break under each of these planks here. And this is going to be a little bit tricky, actually. Uh, we are actually going to need some filler blocks, so let's place these back. Then we're going to do pistons above those. And I'll have to break out all of this here. Break out the cobblestone again, and then we're going to put levers and turn them on under each of these pistons. And I should say, this is all very, very inspired by a build I found on Westeros Craft. I was on there not too long ago exploring around uh, some of their castles, and I found a gatehouse that was fairly similar to this, um, but... And I found a gatehouse that was fairly similar to this, I don't remember the castle, uh, but it was really cool, so I decided to kind of take some inspiration from that. Uh, it's a little bit different, obviously we don't have all the same blocks they do because it's modded, but I think what we got here is pretty close. And by the way, I highly, highly recommend you go check out West Heroes Craft. They do have a YouTube channel, but I highly recommend you go and check out their server yourself uh, because there's a lot of really good inspiration on there. But let's go ahead and keep on working on this. So we're going to do barrel right there. Strip log there, barrel, strip log, barrel. And we'll go ahead and strip those. And then on the sides, we're going to do a fence gate and an oak trap door like that to kind of look like a wheel uh, that somebody could come up here and turn whenever they want to pull the wall up. And we're going to have to break this, but we're going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, and then I think we're good to place the rails. So we're going to do rails all the way down this. Now, of course, on Westeros Craft, one of their rail textures looks like chains. Uh, but I think rails will just do, will, will do the job just enough. I think this will be good enough. Uh, but yeah, look at that. And now what we can do, we can go ahead and just flip all these open, I guess, technically. And there you go, kind of looks like it's floating there. I think that looks really, really cool. And then just so it doesn't look too weird on this side, we're just gonna go ahead and place the trap doors all along here as well. I don't really know what this would be representing. Uh, maybe like just a little bit of a pr protection in case one of the chains breaks or something and goes flying out, but I don't know. This is mostly just so we can get the chains or the, the rails actually floating. And I don't think it looks too bad, so I'm not, I'm not too fussed about it. But for the rest of this, I think I'm going to have to do it uh, some other time. We'll probably do it in a live stream or something. I think interiors are good for live streams. Uh, by the way, be sure to go follow me over on Twitch. If you don't know, I have been live streaming fairly often. And we'll probably be doing another one tomorrow. Maybe, depending on when this episode comes out, we'll probably do one tomorrow. But I think that is actually going to do it for this episode. We got quite a bit of work done today. I'm, I'm very happy with the progress we got done. Uh-oh, got to sleep. You know what, let's actually not sleep yet. I wanna see this place at nighttime. Oh yeah, this is looking nice. This is much, much better than what we had before. Uh, hello. But yeah, I think that is gonna do it for today's episode. We got some really good progress done today. I'm very happy with it. Let me know what you think of the new gatehouse and the uh, little interior that we did up there. I think it all turned out really, really cool. But yeah, that is gonna do it. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.